Attention, you will need a jailbroken iDevice with iOS 4 or above for this to work. If your iDevice is not jailbroken, you can easily search on YouTube how to jailbreak your iDevice. And once you are jailbroken, return to this video to continue. Make sure you own the games that you are downloading from legal backup sites. Hey, Wasabi, Operation iDroid here, and this is my PSX for All request series, where I show you how to get specific games on PSX for All. These games are taken by request, so if you would like to request a video, leave it in the comment section below. And today's episode is... How to get Crash Bandicoot on PSX for... Okay, so to get this to work, we're going to need three things. The first one being PSX for all, the actual PlayStation 1 emulator, and the application that we're going to use to play the game. If you do not have that, there will be an annotation on the left or a link in the description. We'll also need iFile, file browsing system, which we'll use to put the game in the right place. If you do not have that, there will be an annotation on the right and a link in the description. And lastly, we'll need Safari Download Enabler, and to get that, you'll have to go into Cydia, then into the Search tab and search Safari Download Enabler. It's the first tweak. It's completely free, so go ahead and install that. Now, to actually get the game, we're going to have to go into Safari. So open up Safari, the iDevices native internet browser, and we're going to click on the URL and type coolrom.com. So it's C-O-O-L-R-O-M dot com. And when we click on it, it will automatically direct us to their mobile website, which is completely fine because their mobile website is very easy to use. And from here, we're going to click on the ROM search. And from there, we're going to type in the game we want to get, which is Crash Bandicoot. So go ahead and type in Crash Bandicoot. And then when you are done, we are going to click on the search little magnifying glass on the right and this will search cool ROMs website for all the Crash Bandicoots they have which is a lot so narrow it down to Sony PlayStation because that's the system we're trying to get the game on and from here we'll see that Crash Bandicoot is the first one we'll click on it and it'll take us to the Crash Bandicoot ROM page for Sony PlayStation which is very nice with two screenshots the file name file size the system downloads rating and finally, at the bottom, we'll have our download link. And as you can see, it says download now. So when you click on that, the download will begin. And you will know that download has started because at the top, where the URL was, it has now converted to a download manager. So this is going to take a little while, and I will be back when it is done. Now, when the download is complete, you should have a screen like this, and we're going to click save at the top right. From here, we're going to go back as far as we can until we are at VAR Mobile, even though you should already be there. And from here, we're going to click on the folder media, then the folder ROMs, and lastly, the folder PSX. And from here, we're going to click save at the top right. Now we can go home. And we can go into iFile. So go ahead and click on iFile. And from here we're going to go and click the little house at the bottom right. And this should take us to VAR Mobile. If you are at VAR Mobile, click the house just to make sure. From here we're going to click on the folder media. Scroll down, folder ROMs. And lastly, folder PSX. And from here we're going to click on our Crash Bandicoot.7z file. And click on Archiver. And what this will do is that it will extract three files that are inside the .7z file that we want out and into the PSX folder. So this should not take too long and I will be back when it is done. Okay, so you will know that the download is complete because it says everything is okay, finished with resolve code 0, and now we can click done at the top right. From here, we'll see that we have a .bin and a .q file now in our PSX folder, and we can go home. And then now when we go home, we have to check before going into PSX for All by double tapping the home button that PSX for All is not in the multitasking bin. So if it is, hold it down 
and then click on the red minus. From here we can go back into the home screen and click on PSX for all. And now we will see that we have a crash bandicoot.bin file in our PSX for all folder. And we can now go ahead and click on that. I'm going to be playing in portrait and no sound for demonstration purposes. And as you can see it is running very smooth. I am using an iPhone 4 running PSX for all 3.0.0 and every time when you run a game you'll see the Sony boot logo and now the PlayStation boot logo. And now the game will begin. And as you can see, it's, as I said earlier, it's running extremely nice. And these games are all 100% playable on your iDevice. Now with PSX for All, there are two different orientations. As you can see here, this is Portrait. And then now, in a second, I will show you Landscape. And then stick around for the outro. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyways, I have a couple of videos on your screen that you might want to watch, so click on them or follow the link in the description. Anyways, for more cool videos like this one or the ones on your screen, click on that green subscribe button. And remember, subscribe to join the operation.